morning, Tesoro, and welcome to TNN. Today we'll be taking a look at Halloween and the word of the day, so stay tuned. Well, I'm Maddie. I'm Mark. And I'm Spencer. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Seniors, Jostens will be here this week to collect your order forms. Last names A through M will turn forms in on Tuesday, while last names N through Z will turn them in on Friday. There is a college fair tonight at Capo Valley High School. If you are interested in, interested in any of the participating schools, stop by any time between 6 and 8.30 p.m. UC Riverside will be at school today during tutorials, so stop by the College Center if you're interested. Also, there will be no school for students on Wednesday, November 1st, so make sure to stay out trick-or-treating until at least 10.30 on Tuesday night. Halloween is right around the corner, stu corner, students, so here's Will the Wailing Ghost to get you in the Halloween spirit. Hey, it's Will the Wailing Ghost. I'm here at the Haunted Hill reporting for TNN. I'm going to be cruising around campus asking kids about what their spooky Halloween activities are. Let's go check it out. What are you going to be dressing up as for Halloween? Ghost. If you could spook one teacher, who would it be? Um, probably Mr. Scott. Uh, I'm definitely going to get John Hallam. So, Regina, what are you going to be doing for Halloween? I'm going to be home delivering candies in the neighborhood and then come back and take care of you little munchkins that didn't all this sugar. And then that was be it. And then see what my brother wants for dinner. That sounds really fun. Make sure to have a safe Halloween and have fun spooking your friends. This has been Well, the Wailing Ghost at the Haunted Hill, reporting for TNN. You know, that was way too spooky for me. <laughs> I really hope I stop by Regina's house this Halloween. Yeah, I wonder what her brother's getting for dinner. <laughs> well, that's all I have for my portion of current events. Now over to Mark with the rest. Thanks, Bison. Oh, I'm sorry, Maddie. Remember seniors, if you want a college recommendation from your teacher or counselor, you first need to fill out the pre-form found to Sora's website. Senior portrait deadline is Friday, November 10. So if you want your beautiful face in the yearbook this year, reserve your space today. Tomorrow at tutorial, Vanguard University will be at the Career Center. So if you're interested in Division II sports, check them out. Also, USC will be here Thursday after school. So if you want to be an immense student debt, check them out. And this Friday, at lunch in the Career Center, we'll be having Azusa Pacific and LSU. We have a nice, very attractive video about what it means to be a senior. Check it out. What's up, Tesoro? I'm Zach here in the 900 Hall. We're just going around talking to a couple seniors. So what's your favorite part about being a senior? Probably running Voldrad Eats, the biggest up-and-coming Instagram account. You guys should all go follow it. So, Riley, what's your favorite part about being a senior? Uh, probably the lower amount of homework that we have to do. So, Will, what's your favorite part about being a senior? Well, Zach, it feels good to be an upperclassman, finally. So, Mr. Hallam, what is it like being a senior? That's all you have for me, Tesoro. This has been Zach, reporting for TNN. Yeah, I don't know what it means to be a senior yet. I still haven't discovered myself. You know, I'm really glad I'm a senior because then I can finally attribute my senioritis to something. <laughs> I'm pretty glad I'm a senior too. It's been nice. Well, that's it for me. Over to the very attractive Spencer Newman for sports. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Varsity Water Polo completed a great regular season last week. They had great seasons from Woody, Cameron, and The Real Little Pipe, securing several dubs for the boys. Their first CIF match is this Tuesday at home. Come dressed up. Girls Lacrosse tryouts are tonight from 7 to 9 on the football field. Anyone interested should definitely give it a try. Girls Tennis has their first CIF match this Wednesday at home. They could really use some support, so make sure you come out. Yes, Brennan, that means you too. Girls Volleyball finished a great regular season last week, going undefeated in league thanks to big seasons from seniors Haley, Sam, Ava, and Jane. Great job, ladies. And make sure you go to their first CIF game Tuesday night at 7 o'clock at Corona Del Mar to witness history in the making. Boys Cross Country is putting the finishing touches on another exciting season 
and their next match is Thursday at Laguna Niguel Regional Park for the South Coast League Finals. They'd be extra motivated if you came out and supported them. Varsity football came out with a W this week against San Juan Hills with big gains from Chase and Joe receiving 278 yards. Great job, boys. Their final game before CIF is Friday at home against Tribuco Hills. Make sure you come out and support wearing purple. Here's some more info about the game. Hey, to start on November 3rd, we are going to be having a football game where we're all going to be wearing purple to support people with disabilities. So come by ASB that day to get something purple to wear to the game. Wear, wear purple! purple! Well, I know. I'll be there wearing purple. So I'm for sure going to show up head to toe purple. You know, purple is my favorite color. <laughs> well, that's all I have for sports. Now off to Maddie to finish off the show. That's all we have for you today, Tesoro. Thanks for tuning in to your one and only source for Titan News. Have a monster Monday.